I knew when I uploaded my original syllabus to the Patreon that um, it would be more of a suggestion that I, I wouldn't stick to it. And uh, I have continued not to stick to it. And, and this video doesn't stick to it. Um, but I, I want to say, starting out, uh, part of the reason it's not sticking to it is this is actually the last lesson in this uh, free online course. And if you have watched any of these lessons, if you've watched all of them, I just want to thank you for your participation. Uh, and I want to especially thank the guys who are a member of the people who are a member of my Patreon. I, I really especially appreciate them being there. And uh, if you remember my, if you're a member of my Patreon, you're going to get a uh, special private uh, communication from me this week just to kind of let you know what's up and what's going on next because where I'm going next is not at all where I expected to go next. And I just kind of, as people who've supported me, I just kind of let you know, hey, here's what I'm going to be working on next. And it's kind of a, a, a left turn, but uh, I just want to, I want to keep you guys in the loop. But anyway, moving on with uh, the myth of Ur. So uh, <clears throat> last week, um, we talked about how Ur encountered the sisters of fate and uh, Ur and the other souls uh, casted lots, or Ur didn't cast lots, he just watched, but, but the souls cast lots and then they were able to select the daemon, select the life that they, they were able to select the new life that they would live on Earth when they went back to Earth and they were assigned a daemon to kind of help keep them on the track of that. And so uh, they get sent off um, to begin their new lives, but before they do, they're made to drink from the well of forgetfulness. And so the idea is you've chosen this life that you're gonna go live, but then you do something that causes you to forget it. So you come back to earth with no conscious knowledge of the life that you're here to live. And all you have is this demonic spirit that's uh, following you around, trying to keep you on the track of, um, of that life. And so um, if you don't have conscious knowledge of the life you're supposed to live all you're left with is unconscious knowledge and so if you want to be more aware of the life that you have chosen to live the life that you're supposed to live the life that you're here to live then it requires you to tune in to the unconscious signals that are appearing in your life because the conscious signals are no good to you. And so uh, your unconscious signals, what's happening unconsciously, are the things that have kind of guided you uh, unknowingly in certain directions. So the things that catch your attention, the things you develop an interest in, uh, your uh, your natural passions and talents and, and um, things that you're inclined to. Uh, and so this is this is a variation of an exercise I've done on my channel before, but uh, you've got three sec sections here, three columns. Others will, demonic spirit, no will. And so uh, when you're young, um, say zero through seven, it's very easy to be uh, under the influence of that demonic spirit because you're just kind of doing the things that you love to do. Uh, you haven't really picked up any of uh, society's programmings a little bit. So you're right on track. And then eventually um, you start getting pulled or put into school and you start learning um, from other adults and you start learning the values of the culture that you live in. And so that pulls you into others will for your life. And so, you know, through your school years and maybe beyond, you kind of go there. And uh, maybe, uh, I, I think the example I used in the past video is that maybe uh, you went into high school or college and you have a time where uh, you just kind of become um, directionless. And so maybe that involves uh, some kind of uh, chemical uh, influence, or maybe it's just video games and you're just not caring. And so in moments like that, you're expressing no will. You're not in, intending to go anywhere. Other people aren't pulling you in a direction. Uh, you're not being influenced by the demonic spirit. Instead, you're just kind of doing nothing. And so your life is kind of, um, a process of weaving back and forth between other people's wills, the demonic spirit, hopefully, and no will. And, and you see, as you as you self-correct between no will and others' will, you spend a little time in that demonic spirit. And so, hopefully, what ends up happening is when you're not being pulled in either direction, you become aware of the thing that you're here to do and what you're meant to do and what you love to do. And that's kind of being under the influence of that demonic spirit. And so uh, the the goal in life, to my mind, is to spend as much time 
in this middle column as possible. And like I said, that involves listening to our unconscious uh, signals. So um, the things we love, uh, the places we end up, um, the things we're drawn to, uh, those are the signals of the daemon that exist for us to tune into. Uh, and, and it requires us sometimes to drown out what others want and drown out the, uh, our tendency towards uh, apathy. Um, and, and so um, the, I'll upload a blank version of this to the Patreon and you can kind of chart your own life. And one of the ways you can do it is you can kind of divide your life into years or in decades, as we say, as I've said in another video, and say, well, in, in this year, was I uh, others will, the demonic spirit, or no will? And then you can kind of chart your own progress through your life uh, by this, uh, by the, these columns. And uh, by doing that, you can learn to recognize the call of the demonic spirit. And then when you recognize, okay, well, when I'm living my life this way, this seemed like I was doing what I really wanted. Then you start configuring, how do I make my life more of that and less of others people, other people's wills and, and less of no will. And so uh, that's uh, that, that's the final lesson in this in this course um, is to learn to tune in and listen to those uh, unconscious influences. If you if you stuck me with me this long, thank you so much for for just giving me some time to talk about these things and um, to do it in public. Uh, I, I feel like that's useful for kind of sharpening your ideas. Uh, and I, I really appreciate your time and your attention. Okay, thanks guys.